Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the Apache and we're looking at radio communications and ADF navigation because it's very much tied in with the radio. So first, mission editor. Most important thing here is to go to mission options there and make sure easy communications are forced off. So this box is off because if it was turned on it would bypass how our radios are set up. So easy communications forced off off next click on our apache that i've just created and go to radio presets we have five radios in this aircraft we have a vhf am radio a uhf am radio we have two vhf fm radios one and two and we also have a high frequency radio in terms of bands the vhf am radio spans 116 to 152 megahertz. The UHF AM radio spans 225 to 400 megahertz. The two VHF FM radios span 30 to 88 megahertz and the high frequency radio 2 to 30 megahertz. The aircraft can have 10 presets associated with each radio and you can see the presets here that we can change in the mission editor if we want but we're not going to we're going to do it in the aircraft we need someone to talk to today so we're going to talk to Sanaki airbase so if i click on the airbase here i can see the various frequencies that we can talk to it in the ones of relevance to us are 131 am we'll be able to talk to that on our vhf am radio and 261 am we can use our uhf AM radio to talk to that. This one here is not relevant and this one here is not relevant. They have different types of aircraft. When it comes to our ADF navigation we need an NDB, non-directional beacon, uh, and there is one there. Its frequency is 688.00 kilohertz and its Morse code identifier is Bravo. So I'm going to write all that stuff down in my notepad now. Okay, press I to get rid of the IHADs. Press right shift and papa to get rid of me. Areas of regard today. Our EUFD here. Our MPD here or the other one. Our keyboard unit here. Our audio control panel here. This switch here. So let's start on the EUFD. This is our radio information area. It's displaying our five radios. VHF, UHF, FM1, FM2 and high frequency. The star means whether we've got audio squelch enabled or not and by default squelch will be turned on. This block here is our current primary frequency set. We also know whether that frequency is set manually or via a preset. The second block is our standby channel. So for each radio we have a primary and the primary is the one that we will transmit and listen to and we have a standby. We listen to all five radios at once, but we can only transmit through one. The one that we transmit through will be decided by this rocker here. You see I'm moving this guy up and down here. So in that configuration, I can only transmit through our VHF AM radio. We talked about swapping our primary and standby frequency. We do that with this button here. So swap. I've now got the standby here and the primary here. Swap again. Okay. Remember, it's the primary frequency that is the active frequency. Next, let's choose a preset. Let's just go down and choose this uh, FM1 here. Press the preset button. These are the 10 possible presets for that particular radio. I cycle up and down with this guy here. And if I want to choose, say, preset 5, that frequency there, press enter. Pip, FM1 now primary channel is now set to that frequency which is preset 5. Next let's look at our audio control panel so if I go down here each of the radios I can use mouse scroll wheel here to change the volume that we listen to them on all maxed out standard right click mute left click unmute. Remember squelch well we can add squelch on and remove squelch for that particular radio if I look up here we no longer have squelching of radio one uh, you'll pretty much always want them on so let me put that on yep uh, also we will listen to tones on our adf so have that up there next we want to bring in our com page on one of our mpds so i click com 
here. This looks very complicated and confusing, but trust me, it's not. Once you get to know the basics, it's super simple. We're going to do three things. One, we're going to look at our current presets. Two, we're going to change our current presets. And three, we're going to change our frequency manually. So first, we look at our presets from the base com page by selecting any of our presets. You can see preset 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Let's press 1. You can see that preset 1 has this name, this call sign, this VHF frequency, this UHF frequency, this FM1, this FM2 and this high frequency set or no high frequency set I should say. Uh, next, I want to change one of these presets. In fact, let's go and change preset one. So with the preset already selected, I go preset edit. We can now change all elements of that preset. So within this preset one, we can change unit information, the VHF and the UHF information, the two FM informations and high frequency radio information. Let's start on unit. So our unit ID, I'm going to change that by pressing it there, we then go over to our keyboard unit, alpha numerical, uh, up to eight characters, and I'm going to call it Simba. Enter. Uh, unit Simba. We also want an associated call sign. We don't have to do this, by the way. I'm just doing it because we can. So, associated call sign. It's going to be an abbreviated version in this case. So, Sim. Call sign SIM. And the primary radio associated is VHF, by the way. Next, let's change the VHF and UHF in this preset. So pip. So let's change the VHF AM frequency to the same as the Sanaki Tower. Uh, check my kneeboard. It's 132 megahertz. So change it here. 132. Two, don't need to worry about the decimal. Enter. There we go. One, three, two. We can also change the UHF by clicking here. Uh, don't worry about all this extra gubbins that's here. You're not going to need it, and I'm not even sure it's modeled. If we wanted to change the two FM radios, pip, we've got this guy here and this guy here. Same thing, just change the uh, frequency. And if we wanted to change the high frequency radio, uh, you've got this guy here and this guy here. The high frequency is split into a receive and a transmit frequency and I don't know why that is I don't know enough about radios all uh, right okay so I'm gonna get out of preset edit and in fact why don't we just go back to the base com page back up on our EUFD we want to select that preset so with the right radio selected so it was the uh, radio one VHF AM go to presets you can see Simba is up at the top there preset one one three two press enter accept it and you can see now that Radio 1 VHF is 132 megahertz SIM. That's shown how to view and edit and select a radio preset. Now let's look at setting a frequency manually. For this, let's do the UHF radio, Radio 2. So, boof, Radio 2. From our base com page here, manual frequencies. In fact, here's an interesting thing. In an emergency, I can revert either radio 1 or radio 2 to a preset guard frequency. I might as well do that now. So UHF, if I press that there, pip, it goes to guard, 243 megahertz, the international guard. All I have to do to set a manual frequency is click on the desired radio. So 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, receive 5, transmit. I want radio 2, UHF, click there, pip, Sanaki tower in the UHF band, that's 261 enter and you can see obviously our UHF radio primary frequency has changed to 261 and that's it viewers we're now ready to go and use our radios so uh, why don't we start in the VHF band there AM at 132 megahertz in fact a better idea would be to scramble it let's purposefully choose a frequency and a radio that's wrong just to show that you that it's all modeled so I've selected FM1 some random frequency here I'm now going to try and talk to Sanaki which is over there how do I do that there are actually various ways of doing this but I'll just show you to keep it simple this is how I suggest doing it in your adjust controls screen set PTT RTS switch to radio slash call call radio menu so just that one is what I would suggest I've set it to the R key R for radio so I'm going to press R pip 
And you've got this Govins up here. Uh, we want ATC. I mean, you can talk to whoever you want to talk to, but I'm going to just talk to ATC in this case. So ATC. And I'm going to talk to uh, Sanaki, the base nearest to me. And I want to say that I'm inbound. And he'll give me a load of information. Well, he won't because I've selected an invalid radio and frequency. So if I just scroll time forward, you'll see that he will not respond. All right obviously. So that's it debugged. Now I want to actually use one of our working frequencies. So I want to go up to VHF 132, which we know is a valid frequency from one of our presets. So radio, ATC, Sanaki, inbound. Fingers crossed he responds. I've turned my sounds off just because I'm struggling with my voice, but he would actually say it in audio as well. And there you go. ATC, blah, 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 blah. Do all that stuff there. All right. And let's see if we can also reach him from, uh, if I get rid of that, reach from UHF. So down to UHF. Uh, I'm going to wait for until his little thing disappears first. Okay, it's disappeared. I'm going to request an azimuth. Pip. And there we go. He's saying uh, heading 343. Viewers, that shows all we really need to know for the radios, which was how to view and manipulate the EUFD, how to adjust settings on our control panel to the right, and how to use our comm page to look at presets, edit presets, and then set frequencies and radios manually. That just leaves ADF to home in on an NDB, a non-directional beacon, which are usually but not always placed at air bases. Here's one that's the sign for an NDB. 688 kilohertz Morse identifier. Bravo. Let's go and try and home in. We're going to go to our TSD page. So TSD, we first need to turn the ADF on. So inst and then util. Then ADF. It's now on. It will actually default to whatever's been preset into the machine and you can see it's defaulted to some random place here. So let's ignore that. Let's now go and change it manually. So I'm going to get out of util. I'm going to select frequency here. Obviously over to the keyboard. 6, 8, 8. Enter. Right, let's see what it's done. 6, 8, 8. You can see we have this dashed line guiding us to the direction of that beacon. ADF gives you direction only, it does not give you distance. So bear in mind you'll just get a direction. It's telling us to travel at about an azimuth of, of 30 or 300. There's our aircraft. I'm going to draw a line to there. There it is, exactly 300 degrees magnetic. Although we don't know how close we are to the transmitter, once we fly over the transmitter, obviously this line will wiggle all the way around and go to the inverse and at that point we know we've gone over it. That's tuning it manually. Now that's tuned to a preset. So with inst selected, go to util. As standard, a bunch of presets will be automatically populated. Bat, cob, b, n, sock, min, gel, krs and so on. Well, let's select one of those. Bat. And then I press tune. That tunes the ADF set to bat, which is probably Batumi at 430 kilohertz. Uh, associated that is a Morse code identifier here, which we'll come back to in a minute. That refers to the B, the A, and the T in Morse code dash and dot. Uh, next, what if we want to change or edit one of these presets? Well, let's go to B here, shall we? Uh, I can edit the ID, which is the name of it. Let's change it to A, B, C, enter. And I can edit the frequency of it here. Um, just some random frequency for zero, enter. And you can see that this preset is now ABC450. And if I tuned it, it wouldn't do anything because obviously it doesn't exist. One thing to bear in mind is these have limits. This is all line of sight is modeled. So if you're behind a mountain or a hill or the curvature of the earth, it won't work. And a range is modeled. If you're outside of the range, obviously you won't be able to hook up to the station there. Which just leaves me with audio to show you viewers. So let's um, use Batumi again. Hopefully that should work. Uh, tune into Batumi. Remember, we've got the Morse code guy here. Well, we now need to turn our sounds on. So I'm going to have to speak a little louder. Make sure this switch here is set to nav. Uh, and this is turned up here. And we should get a beeping according to this Morse code identifier. So that that wasn't it.
It's very quiet. You have to listen really carefully. Even turned up to maximum. Just a couple of other things uh, that Simba's reminded me of, guys, in the EUHF. First thing, we can choose which radio we transmit on. We've shown that. But we can also display which radio our other crew member is transmitting on, shown by that guy there. One other thing, you remember when we set a frequency manually, uh, we set, I think, this UHF frequency manually. We assigned 261 to the primary frequency there. When we do that, the previous primary frequency gets bumped over here to the standby frequency. And that's what we want to show on the radios and ADF. I hope that was useful and bye-bye.